What is up YouTube, Ryan here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make your lives easier. I am gonna show you how to put these two inch round vents on your gecko tubs. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take the vent in one hand, tub in the other, and you're gonna see this, you're gonna just push, and there you go. Nice and easy. All right, end the video. I'm just kidding, but in all seriousness, I am gonna show you guys how to install these vents on your tubs. It is fairly simple and a very cost effective thing to do. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys what you need for this project. I will say it's not the cheapest project in the world, but it is gonna be very cost effective for you. I'm saying it's not the cheapest because you're gonna need a bunch of tools and um, stuff for this. First thing you're gonna need is the vents themselves. These can be purchased from roundvents.com. I wanna say they were around $1.30 per vent, but shipping was like 10 bucks, so that pushes the cost of each one up. But yeah, so I bought the two inch screen vents with the tabs, so those are what's gonna hold them into the tub. You won't need any glue or anything like that. And you are gonna need a drill for one. If you don't have one, I'm sure your friends or family have one that you can borrow. A hole saw set. I got this from Walmart for like six bucks, and all you're gonna need is the two inch hole saw. If you're wanting to do it the exact way I did it, um, you're gonna need just a regular drill set too because I drilled 10 holes on each side of the tub for the ventilation. And on that, I am using this one. I think this is like six bucks or five bucks from Home Depot. I am using the 7 64ths drill bit, just so I think that's a good size hole for uh, baby crested geckos. Um, you're gonna need a Dremel. This was $30 at Walmart, and this was a really nice thing to have for this. Um, I'll show you why in a minute. And then you're gonna need sandpaper. Oh, and you're gonna need goggles. The goggles was for the Dremel, because that shoots plastic in your face. Um, sandpaper just to smoothen up the edges. I say this isn't the cheapest thing to do because it does require you know a lot of money and tools and other stuff, but I will say it's probably one of the most cost effective ways because you can house a gecko for under three bucks. And for me that has around 80 crested geckos right now and more eggs incubating, or for you other breeders out there, this is probably a lot more cost effective than buying a lot of uh, cages that take up a lot of space and are heavy. And I can house all my babies individually. Housing them all individually in this makes it nice and easy. Um, they're stackable. That's what I do it on the side because they're stackable. I don't have anything drilled in the lid. And yeah, the ventilation is great in these. The tubs hold humidity better than glass cages. I do have a lot of exoterras for my bigger crested geckos and they dry out a lot faster. So. These hold humidity very well, and it has worked really good for me so far. So let me show you guys how to do this. All right, so the first step is to get your hole saw ready. So with mine, I unscrew this, drop the drill bit into the hole, and then tighten it up. And this is how you're gonna be drilling your tubs, and then just put it in your drill. I like corded drills, they work really good and batteries don't die. Okay guys, so if you're wondering why I'm doing this in my kitchen, it's because I don't have a garage or a workbench that I can do this at. So the way I have it set up is I got two center blocks and a piece of wood. And this piece of wood is just being held right there so that when I'm drilling it doesn't move the tub. And this hole is just from doing 50 of these tubs already. So on the very first one, I lined this tub up and then just drilled right through and it made a nice template for all the ones I'm doing after that. So let me show you guys what that looks like. just to kind of smoothen it out and then the last step after that will be to sand it down and yeah with this I like to wear glasses because when you're dremeling it's definitely gonna shoot plastic in your face so it better be safe than sorry
Okay guys, I wanted to show you the three steps I'm doing to um, complete these tubs. So the first step is using the hole saw and drilling the hole in the tub. And you can see it leaves a nice hole, but there are some sharp edges in there and there's big chunks of plastic that did not come off. So my next step is using the Dremel and getting all those big chunks off. It doesn't give it the most perfect edge, but it definitely gets all the big chunks of plastic off. If you wanted to, you could install the vent at this stage. Basically, I'm installing them where the plastic piece is on the inside of the tub. It's not as appealing on the outside because you just have those tabs that are going to be folded over, but it completely covers the edge so the gecko or whatever else you put in here won't be in contact with the edges. So it's not the most eye appealing, but I think it's the safest option for the gecko. And then the final stage that I do is sanding. And I think going um, the extra step and sanding it just makes it look a lot cleaner. Also wash this tub. You definitely want to wash the tubs to get all the plastic pieces out. But yeah, just using a little bit of sandpaper will definitely make a difference between um, just dremeling it and just getting that perfect edge on there. So here it is. You got the hole saw, Dremel, and the sandpaper. So from this step, I'll put the round vent in there. And all you're gonna do is stick it from the inside out and then fold these tabs over. And now you have a completed tub. It is right in line with the tub, so the gecko won't be able to get his toes or tail or anything behind that, and it's not coming out. And it is still removable, like let's say you drop the tub and it cracks or breaks, you could probably pull those tabs off a few more times and uh, put it in different tubs. So for me, I'm using the two inch round vent and then I have 10 holes drilled on each side and I think that's giving me the right amount of humidity I need. Depending on where you live, you might need more holes drilled or less holes or maybe even another vent, but that's just something you're gonna kinda have to figure out. But that is the process in which I do this, and I think it comes out pretty nice. So here's one with the gecko in there. And I misted this last night, and there's still some water on the tub, but the rest of the tub's drying out. So by tonight, this tub is mostly going to be dry, which is good. So it gives them a dry cycle and a humid cycle to where they can get water from the leaves in the tub. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video.